Can we really convert a Canadian visitor visa into a work permit? The answer is complicated, but we will clarify this in this video. Hi, my name is Rashid Ali. If this is your first time here, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant from Canada. And in this channel, I share videos on Canadian immigration, visas, and citizenship. None of the information shared in this channel or other social media channels is legal advice. If you do need legal advice, we can book a consultation so I can give you professional advice that is relevant to your situation. So the question of converting a visitor visa to a work permit is one that a lot of people have on their minds, especially due to a lot of misinformation on social media. There are two types of misinformation. One is where we hear the word convert. It seems like this is some sort of an easy automatic process where if you just can get a visitor visa for Canada and come here, you can easily change your status to a worker and start working. The other misconception is where I've heard a lot of people say that Canadian government is very generous and lenient in granting visitor visa these days. And due to the combination of these two rumors, a lot of people are attracted to apply for a Canadian visitor visa so they can come here and start working. Firstly, I'm not sure why there is this perception of the Canadian visitor visa being very easy as the refusal rates for certain countries are very high. And you can learn more about that in the previous video linked above. Secondly, if you do get a visitor visa, there's a due process with some very tough requirements that you need to fulfill before you can apply for a work permit. And even then there is no guarantee that your work permit application will be approved. Just like a visitor visa, work permit applications are refused also. also also keep in mind that the Canadian visa and immigration policies are quite different from some of the other popular destinations for international workers like UAE. For example, if I'm not mistaken, UAE has a job seeker visit visa where if you meet certain conditions like having a bachelor's degree, being a recent graduate, meeting some more requirements, they will issue you a visit visa for the purpose of searching jobs in UAE. But Canada's policy is completely opposite of this. There is no job seeker visit visa in Canada. In fact, if you apply for a Canadian visit visa and mention that you want to come here and search for jobs, there are great chances that your visitor visa application will be refused because the Canadian government wants to ensure that Canadian citizens and permanent residents get the opportunity to work for those local jobs first. And if no Canadian citizen or a permanent resident is available for a job, only then should it be offered to someone else outside of Canada or someone who's not a Canadian citizen or a PR. So the employers have to go through the process of labor market impact assessment or LMIA before they can offer this job to someone who is not a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. And this process of LMIA approval can easily take two to three months. Plus the employers have to pay a government fee, they have to submit a detailed application, and in some cases they have to go through an interview to justify why they couldn't hire a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. And therein lies the biggest challenge with this approach for trying to search jobs while on a visit visa because even if you're here on a visitor visa you still need a job offer that has gone through the process of LMIA approval once you have this job offer with an LMIA only then can you apply for a work permit and then the visa officer will decide whether or not to approve the work permit application and this whole process can take months so just imagine this you leave your job in your country to come to Canada to search for a job here the cost of living is high so including the price of traveling lodging meals etc you're spending thousands of dollars with this uncertainty whether or not you'll get a job and you may be someone who says that i don't have a job outside of canada anyway i'm unemployed and i want to move to canada for a better life again the challenge here is that if you are in these conditions if you are unemployed there's a big likelihood that you'll fail in the first step which is your visitor visa application it'll most probably be refused anyway so to summarize to get a work permit while you're visiting Canada, you need a job offer with an LMIA and this process can take months and cost the employer time and money. So they would always prefer to give any job to someone locally who has already authorization to work in Canada. For example, a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident, or someone with an open work permit. So this hasn't changed. The only change that a lot of people have been trying to sell on social media is that if you do have all of these things, that is a job offer supported by an LMIA, you can apply for a work permit within Canada. You don't have to exit Canada like you had to do in the past, right? That's the only change. You still need to fulfill all 
all of those difficult requirements and then you can apply for a work permit within Canada and this policy will expire as of Feb 25. That's the only change it's, but it's been sold on social media as if there's been a drastic change in the government's policy where anyone can easily get a work permit if they're here on a visitor visa. The main bottleneck is not the fact that you don't have to exit Canada. The main challenge is having that job offer with an LMIA and for that job offer you're competing with Canadian citizens, permanent residents and those who are here on an open work permit because they don't need an LMIA. Now you might be someone who might think that is that's not a big deal you'll just buy a job offer you'll pay money to someone and they will arrange a job for you either a real job or a fake job where an employer will go through this whole process just so you can apply for a work permit and then they will run payroll to show that they are giving you salary the biggest issue with this approach is that it is illegal if you get caught you'll be deported and banned from Canada the employer will be banned from hiring more employees they might have to pay thousands of dollars in fine and anyone involved will be in big trouble because in Canada one cannot charge fee to employees for giving them a job because that defeats the purpose of LMIA since it means that someone bypassed the Canadian citizens and permanent residents to give this job to someone else one misrepresented oneself and it also means that foreign workers are being taken advantage of you as a foreign worker are being taken advantage of you should never have to pay for any job and that's a general rule not only for Canada but for other countries as well so why risk your life savings why blemish your clean passport with a ban and deportation? Why commit a crime? Now you might be thinking, if you're someone who does want to work in Canada legally, what can you do? The short answer is that you should search and apply for very relevant jobs from outside of Canada. If an employer really needs you, they will go through the LMIA process and offer you the job anyway, even if you're not in Canada. Plus, there are a number of programs that are LMIA exempt, like RNIP, Atlantic Immigration Program, Alberta Rural Renewal Stream. You can directly apply for PR through these programs. I have videos on some of these programs where you can learn more and I will link them in the description. If you're wondering how do I look for those employers that hire people on LMIAs, I have a very detailed file with a list of 35,000 Canadian employers who hired people through LMIAs in the last year. So that could be a good starting point. You can choose your occupation and then look at the names of the employers and try approaching them the right way. You can search and apply for jobs on their website. You can connect with them on LinkedIn. So I'll share this file in the description. This will also enable you to join my mailing list where I occasionally send emails, something that is useful useful for you in your immigration journey. But let me also address the other thing. If you are visiting Canada, you're visiting family or you're here for tourism and somehow you come across a good job and an employer is willing to work with you, what should you do in that case? The policy does allow you to apply for work permit within Canada. But again, these cases will be very rare and you have to be very careful about your intention as well. There was a federal court case where someone applied for a visitor visa. They were here for six months and because they're six months were up they had to leave Canada they applied for an extension and in their extension application they did not mention that they were awaiting an LMIA that they were going through the process of receiving a job offer from an employer with an LMIA so their extension was approved but when they applied for their work permit within Canada they were not only given a refusal they were told by the visa officer that you did misrepresentation so they were given a removal order they had to leave Canada their visitor visa was cancelled their work permit of course was refused and they cannot apply for Canada in the future for several years so you have to be very careful with your intention as well. As you've seen in the previous video, I'll be launching an online community later this year. The goal of that community is for us to hang out in an online space where like-minded individuals who have goals related to visiting, studying, working, immigrating to Canada, or those who are already here but want to network with other professionals who want to invite their family and friends to Canada, we can hang out, we can discuss these matters with each other in a professional space. So I'll leave a link so you can apply to join that community as well. That's it for this video. So stay tuned for more videos and LMIAs. If you want to discuss your profile, again, book a consultation or send me an email. Thank you so much.